G'day, it's Jay, and welcome back to Timber Kings. Episode 10. We've got a lot to do in this episode, so it might be a little bit longer than the standard episode. And, uh, yeah, we're going to discuss basically where we need to go from here, because I was looking at the requirements from the roller co for the roller coaster. I'm just going to sell this wood, see how much it takes. And, of course, it took it all. Um, I'll also talk a little bit because people have asked questions about this production facility and I'm not quite sure what needs to be done to it yet but it did get rejected by Giants for, and I will go into that in a little while now while I'm up here and since I placed this up here um, I'm thinking I need to buy some land around here so I'm not constantly hauling from the south end of the map to the north end of the map. That's new, sorry. I, um, I've seen a couple of billboards recently. The absolute best chair you could ever imagine. Try sit on it and... Ha! Huh, Northwest Classy Furniture. That's kind of nice that they put um, a billboard in the game that actually advertises. It's kind of fun. Um, I saw one for a new soft drink the other day. On a different map. Because, you know, while I very much appreciate Giants are advertising for their DLCs, constantly seeing the same billboard over and over again for, let's say, pumps and hoses or uh, the Kubota pack, uh, it gets a little bit boring. So it's nice that they have mixed it up. Um, in terms of contracts, I think I discussed this a little bit before. Um, unless it's either on my way, like this logging contract is, or worth a lot of money, I'm not going to be bothering too much anymore. I think we're fine financially in terms of reloading. I think we're fine financially in terms of money coming in now. Oh, I hate when it does that. I think it's time we focused on... making money in game all right i have to fix that that's bugging me and let's see if i'm going to pick the right way to get out of here or if i should turn around and go the other way There are so many different roads on this map that lead either to steep grades or require you to take steep grades. Sometimes you don't know which is the best route to take and which is not. So let me deliver this to the southern sawmill and then we will talk about um, potential productions because I think that's important and while I navigate this road um, I know a lot of you have suggested that we just focus on the roller coaster for now because you want to see that get built 
but we also do have surplus resources as you saw in the last episode if you watched it um, that we're now able to put some towards the boatyard especially that I have now that I have that uh, Miller's lumber production going it should be able to supply us nicely with uh, product for both productions. And the other nice thing is, it looks like the snow is stopping soon. Um, a couple of you commented that it looks like fun and you haven't had snow in your game, but yeah, it was fun until I started getting stuck if I tried to do a U-turn on one of the main tracks and had to go into the deep snow. It wasn't too bad with the track vehicles or with track tours um, because of the type of tires they have on but trucks and pickup trucks seem to have a little bit of a hard time with the deep snow, especially if it's got a big load behind it. And while we're driving past these agricultural fields, um, that's been another suggestion that's been made is that we should take advantage of the fields at some point. But really, as I've said before, there is so little land here. In terms of agri potential agricultural production that I don't know if it's really worth it. Um, I know cotton instead of sheep has been suggested. But let's face it, in the Pacific Northwest, cotton is not really something they grow. Um, there's a reason there's a cotton belt for a reason. And we're in February now. As you can see, it's still snowing. So the ground really isn't that favorable. I know we could do it because it's a video game, but realistically the ground would not be favorable for planting cotton. And besides the, uh, speaking of things I want, besides the new productions to help keep the roller coaster and the boatyard going. Uh, I also want to start up either upgrading or doubling up on some of my equipment. Like I said with the new production being up north, um, I would like to start logging up that way too. And that may require a second truck. Well, we've got two trucks. It may require a third truck with a logging trailer or um, I have found some interesting mods that might also work kind of well and will definitely fit the park for a logging a logging camp the north sawmill is okay for right now I don't need to touch that um, I know what I do need though is, and I don't like running lower than I am right now, fuel. Let's see how much this bad boy costs to fill up. Not bad, less than $200. <laughs> If only that were real. Um, so you noticed that we were at a million dollars the other episode. I invested in the Chrome Auto Load Trailer, and you know what? It's fine for some things. It's not the best for some of the new productions that have come out so if anyone knows of any good
trailers other than the big flatbed I already have, please leave a comment and let me know. Alright, for now, uh, I think I'm going to load up this trailer again. And then we will go from there. As you can see, both of the productions are coming along rather nicely. So, planning for down the road, we need shingles, we need tables and chairs, and we need barrels and buckets. All of which are very doable. Let's see what they cost, and then we will go from there. I think sh from... See, the other problem I'm having is my mind's not what it used to be, and I don't remember what stage of the roller coaster we're on, whether we're on stage three now or whether we're on stage four. Either which way, we still have at least one or two stages to go before we start requiring those tables and chairs. But there is nothing wrong with planning ahead. Like I said, um, the sheep still have not produced enough wool for me to put in a spinner yet. And I don't want to get caught in the same boat with some of these other productions where um, I'm kind of left in the lurch, as the old expression goes. So... That's why I want to get these productions up and running now. Worst case is, we put the shingles into storage until we actually need them. And we just sell off the other products so to, um, that we're going to need. Oh, I need to turn prefab walls on, on the big sawmill too. Because I think it's time to start making those. The paper mill is doing rather well. I am not even going to try and get in there with a truck and a trailer right now. <coughs> so where's the shingle factory? There's the shingle factory. Let's tag it and let's pick up our pickup truck, which has got a decent amount of product on it. Oh, come on. There we go. Got some grip. That's one of the nice things about uh, 82 Studios and the stuff David makes is that it's pretty rugged in terms of getting around. Now the shingle factory only takes long planks. And both of our sawmills will crank out both long planks and regular planks, so that's nice. i guessing I should have come around the other way. see how much it takes and it took them all wow seventy thousand that's not bad I can live with seventy thousand for the shingle factory so shingles are being produced we definitely need some more long planks And yes, I know from some of the comments that I have received, um, I can just put the sawmills onto distributing, but that doesn't really make for a very exciting episode. Although, I don't know how much people want to see deliveries being made and not made. 
Sorry, dude. I'm in the way. Alright. What should we do? What's across the street? Um, oh, that's the frame, picture framing. I think the other one we should go for right now is the fancy furniture factory. We could go for the barrel factory. This fancy fur oh, fancy furniture is right, right next to. Okay, perfect. Yep, it's right next to the wood turner. That means we can do deliveries there. Well, both at the same time. Look at all the signposts. It's not me. Trust me, knocking down the signposts as much as I enjoy it. It's not me. It's the snow. All right. I'm going to go get the big truck and I'll be back. All right, here we are at the fancy furniture factory. Let's see how much, see, I told you we had plenty of long boards or long planks, whatever they called them. Long boards are going to the roller coaster. Anything it doesn't take in terms of the long boards, well, those are going to be stored and they sell for about 10,000 a piece. So they're pretty good. Uh, I'm going to give one more and I'm going to save the rest for the furniture factory or not. Uh, the barrel factory. All right. So we made a little bit of money back. 110. Okay. Armoire, we need metal, so we're not going to produce that. Uh, of course. We don't have, uh, you know what? That's going to be enough to get us through the day. Um, I have no idea what the capacity, I, I completely forget what the capacity is for the other factory. So let's take care of that first and we will have plenty more long planks in the morning and I know I'm going the wrong way down or deliveries exempt yeah no if that was I would not accept that as an excuse It took them all. I really do like this truck. It is probably the best. Like, I know it's not North American, it's European, but it's probably the best handling truck in the game outside of, and I hate to say it, but this one. Uh, don't know why. But it is, and it does. Wow, look how deep that snow is. And why are people walking around in t-shirts and hats when it's freezing cold? So this is the last of our metal. That, well, this is the metal that got produced since the money train. Let's dump that in here. 
and then we will see what we can produce. Ooh, that one's not bad. All right, so we don't need bathtubs. Let's deactivate that. And did I? No, activate that. Now, I know that means I'm going to go through a ton more wood up at the old sawmill, but so be it. Wow, so it could take quite a few more long planks. But we'll be good. We'll make it. So it's 25 to 25, gives you 170. Well, that's... That's quite a few. And 50 and 25 gives you 340. Um, maybe I jumped the gun a little bit by getting these early. Okay, look. Dude, I am parked in the parking zone. You have plenty of room to get around me. Get around me. Some people's driving. I mean, what's not to like about this truck? The cab's so detailed, it's so clean looking, it's modern, it's nice. By North American standards, I mean, it's not really got a sleeper bed in it, but. All right, so we need, what are these? These are wood beams and we need, we've got 3,600. We need at least two of those. beams 3600 we have in storage we need one more oh well easy come easy go we can always make more Three thousand six hundred fifty-eight. Three thousand six hundred fifty-eight. perfect actually you know what I'm just gonna feed this one in and and that way there's surplus and that means we can sell whatever is left okay so I'm gonna put my equipment away for the night and I will see you in March and we will see a what the weather's doing and how our productions are doing oh my goodness I've got two dead sheep look at the way they are lying See? Hello? Are you awake? Hello? You alright? Did they freeze to death? Three! Okay. That's not good. Let's see what the ore mine has. Ah, we're going to need the delivery of ore. Wow. And it looks like our... Lodgepole pines have hit the first stage of growth. Excellent. Let's take a quick trip around our productions and see where they're at. Paper, paper, paper. Oh, it looks like it's full. Nah, it's got room. This is going to be a big seller.
At least the snow's down to level one. I was hoping it would have melted by now. What's the temperature in the forecast? Three degrees going... Yeah, it'll definitely melt this afternoon. I'm not even going to look up here because I know how much there's going to be. Let's take a look here and see. We got plenty. It will need a delivery of wood. That's why I have that truck ready. Flooring tiles. Alright, so that's gonna need some of those planks we made. to spawn none okay what else do we own we own if you check the price of clothing it's just as good as it is on any other map which is why I want to get more sheep going We got plenty of staircase railings. next door tables and chairs seem to be doing fine how mm, never mind I'm thinking to myself here I'm assuming everybody knows what the secret of the roller coaster is once it's built. If not, leave a comment and I will go to my demo map and I will do a spoiler video. So we own these two, we own that one, and we own the barrel factory, right? I don't think we own any others. Ooh, boy, this stuff. All right. cranked out. Alright. Uh, let's see if the roller coaster has progressed. That looks like we're still at the same. The staircase railing we have plenty of. And let's see how... Bo oh, wow. Yes, look at that. It's really taking shape now. <coughs> and let's see what's happening to Bodie McBoatface. Okay. 
that is really coming along nicely. Planks long, floor tiles, do we have enough? Uh, we need more floor tiles, okay. And metal, we are fine, so it's floor tiles. Okay, let me... Uh, ooh. Admire the boat. It's looking like it's got wood rot or something with the brown tinges on it. I guess they just haven't buffed it up yet. All right, I'm going to round up my wood. You don't need to see me doing that again. And I will be right back. Okay, I just double-checked my sheep, and they're not dead. They're now standing up. Yeah, I know. I was being sarcastic, and I can already hear the comments. And this is definitely not what this truck was intended for, or this trailer. But hey, it's doing the trick. doing the trick so I now just have to remember who takes these as productions no, that one takes regular planks Barrel factories on the south end, the furniture factory. And the shingle factory. Can I tag two places at once? Where's the shingle factory? There is one, that's a furniture factory. Oh, we got plenty of long planks up at the other sawmill too, or long beams, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh! You took more than you were supposed to, you greedy pig. Well, let's hope you put... Nah, it'll take them all. Let's give it to them all. Like I said, we got plenty. Just have to round them up, that's all. I'm hoping the snow will be gone soon. Um, I know on Elm Creek, when the snow started to melt, it went poof all at once. It didn't go down in stages. So maybe giants have uh, worked on that for this map. And poof, no sooner had I got to the iron ore mine than all the snow is gone. I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, nice driving there, Jay. Higher.
All right, that's good for that. Even a small load puts a huge weight. I would love to, I'm gonna put in at some point, I'm gonna put in a weigh station and I'm gonna try and figure out how much a trailer full of iron weighs. Oh, there we go. As long as the loader's low enough. I should be okay. Oh, no. I parked in the wrong spot. As usual. There, that gives the extra weight I needed. Alright, and this is what I mean about uh, the two different routes, knowing your different routes. I see a lot of people taking other routes out of here. And they go down near the old sawmill, or old um, iron mine I should say on the upper route, but that dips steeply and then it climbs again. This one I find is a lot smoother, especially when you have a full load of ore. So the rest of this, I won't say the rest of this episode, but we're gonna drop the, um, the iron ore off, fill up the mine. I'm gonna have to do some logging because, well, we need some luck see it only drop it drops to 10 12 9 here but see how steep it is if i keep going straight sorry if i turn to the right as opposed to keep going straight and we pick speed back up and the fact that you can pick speed back up saves believe it or not two or three minutes which I mean in real life terms isn't a huge deal but in game terms two or three minutes is well it's quite a bit yeah see we're making we're keeping a steady-ish speed we're gonna dip down a bit as we come up this hill here but it very much boils down to knowing the map and which are the best routes. Okay, as this episode is 40 minutes long, I'm going to empty at the iron iron furnace metal furnace whatever you want to call it this is such a nice view and i'm not going to do the money train to end today's episode um i do want suggestions though this is what i was thinking about earlier i want to buy a new piece of forestry equipment but do I also get one of the Volvo front-end loaders? We have the money for it, and we certainly will have the money for it when we do the next money train. So give me suggestions on what you think I should buy next, whether it's the Volvo loader, whether it's... I want to get... The, I want to get a good forest harvester. Um, I like the Kabo uh, Komatsu one we have. I do find it does get flung around a little bit by some of the bigger trees. And it won't touch a full-grown spruce. It's just not powerful enough. And we have a 
couple of pallets of wool now. Where should I put the spinnery? Why aren't you lifting? Don't tell me it's too heavy. It was lifting earlier. All right, well, I'll figure that one out. Turns out all I had to do was switch to the front. Oh, that's weird, it normally works. No problemo. Yeah, so let me know where I should put the spinnery. I have a couple of ideas. This is going to take it all. It is going to take it all. Um... Should I put the spinnery at the side of the road here? Should I put the spinnery a little bit further along, closer to our main base? Or should I take up valuables field space and put it right near the sheep? Suggestions welcome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. Look forward to your suggestions. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks and take care.